What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger, and we are jumping back into some road of the show here today. It's the postseason of the 2024 season, and as a third baseman on the Diamondbacks, we are playing the Atlanta Braves in the wild card round here. Let's see what we can do against them. There's going to be a lot of loading in games, so let's see what we can do. All right, it is top of the first two outs, runner on second. Diamondbacks up one to nothing. I hit 300 in the regular season. Spencer Strider on the mound for the Braves. He hits 100 miles an hour on the four-seamer as a slider. It's only 88, though. Uh, two-seamer, though, will hit 98 or 99 there. First pitch. Dribbler to third. That's not going to do it. Yep, six, or not six, three, a five, three put out. And there's my first postseason at bat right down the drain with one pitch. We're going to move on here. And we're back in the field, bottom of the second. One nothing ball game still. Diamondbacks in the lead. Nobody out, nobody on. Austin Riley at the dish. And we're going to make a play here. Yeah, buddy. Throw across, we'll get him. All right, cool. Showtime in the postseason. That's a thing of beauty. Got all nice and dirty with it. The battle work. All right, we come back bottom of the third. Still a one nothing ball game. One out, nobody on. Full count for Michael Harris the second. He's 0 for 1 on the day so far. Hit 288 in the regular season. And let's see what we get here with the payoff pitch from Zach Gallon. Another... Yeah, showtime event. We're going to get this one as well. Throw across from my butt. And we get him. How about that? Two diving stops in three innings. That's a thing of beauty right there, if I do say so myself. We come back top of the fourth runner on first. Nobody out. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day after a ground out. Spencer Strider still on the mound. And a late swing on that four-seamer up in the zone. And it's deep to right field. And caught right about the warning track edge there. So that is just a long fly ball out for out number one. Not exactly a productive at bat. We come back top of the sixth. It is a two nothing ball game. One out, nobody on. Aaron Bummer is on the mound for the Braves out of the bullpen. He hits 96 with the sinker. Also hits 89 with a cutter. 97 on the four seamer. So first pitch. Ooh, below the knees with a slurve on the outer third. Swung on it, got a piece, fouled it off, and uh, that makes for an 0-1-1 count. I played all of 43 games at the major league level. And the second pitch from him is a four-seamer well off the inside corner, so that moves the count to 1-1. One one. Third pitch of the at-bat from Bummer. Another fly ball out to deep right. Right at, oh, it's off the top of the wall. We're going three, baby. We're going to get our first major league triple. And we're doing so in the postseason. How about that? That was interesting. The ball hit the top of the padding there and just kind of bobbled around a little bit. Kinky. We come back, top of the eighth. I'm standing in one for three on the day with a triple and a run scored. It's a 3 nothing ball game. Diamondbacks in the lead. One out, runner on first, and Ronaldo Lopez is on the mound for the Bre er, Brewers. For the Braves out of the bullpen. He hits 100 miles an hour on the four. Seamer slider at 90. Circle change at 90. 12 6 curve only at 83. And a late swing on that four. Seamer almost right down the middle. And it's fouled away for an 0 and 1 count. Second pitch of the at bat now. Below the knees on the outside corner. And that evens up the count at 1 and 1. Third pitch of the at bat now from Lopez. Oh, swing and a miss to the four-seamer just up and in. And that moves the count to one and two. Should have been two and one, but I had to swing at it, you know? The one-two pitch got me to reach for one off the outside corner. Four, six, and three. That's the double play that sends us to the middle of the eighth inning. So not a great day at the plate, but the Diamondbacks do take the win here in game number one. Final score, four to nothing as we stacked on another run in the top of the ninth. And we're going to move on here. We'll have to go back to the clubhouse, I'm sure. Yep, there we go. Go back to the clubhouse, see what we can do. And if we can win game number two, that's going to be all she wrote for the series. And we got a diamond equipment pack. Ooh, 
That's intriguing. You know what? I think I'm going to open that up just because I want to see if I can uh, get a little bit better stats here. Pop this bad boy open. Um, the bat would be interesting. Glove would be great. So would the shoes. Oh, that's worth 10,916 stubs. And that is why. Holy cow. Look at the stats on that. The bat's only 7-7. Seven and seven. The glove, that's impressive. We might have to do that one. I don't know. It's only worth 6,628, so I'm not sure. 8 and 6 on the other bat. Uh, as much as I would love the cleats. Man, those are good. Those are really good, but it's better for pitching and for uh, speed demons, and I'm not exactly a speed demon, so we're going to go with the glove. And we are not selling that bad boy at all. But we are going to put that on because that has got to help we were a 90 overall we are now still a 90 overall so all right here we go next game against the braves here we're gonna jump right into her here and they got me batting seventh in the order here 250 batting average for me here in the postseason so far but it's only one game so We'll skip through all of this, just get to the game, and here we are, top of the second. Runner on first, nobody out. 1-1 one, one ball game so far. Max Freed on the mound for the Braves. He does hit 96 on the four-seamer. Has a sinker at 96, it looks like. I can have trouble seeing that. The first pitch from him is a 12-6 curve off the plate away and low, and it is a 1-0 count. I was the September Rookie of the Month. Oh, wow, I did not know that. Second pitch of the at-bat. Ooh, circle change in the zone. Had me a little bit out in front. Fouled it off, so we have a one-and-one one count. Next pitch. Oh, I'm swinging at a four-seamer up and in. It's a one-and-two count as I somehow made contact with that to foul it away. The one-two pitch now from Max Freed. Right up the middle. I'm into center field. Perfect, perfect hit. That makes a base hit for me. Runners on first and second now with nobody out in the top of the second. That was 116 or 118 off the bat. Holy cow. That was cool. All right, we come back. It's a 4-3 to three ball game now. Braves have the lead. It's the top of the fourth. One out, nobody on. Max Freed still towing the rubber for Atlanta. And the first pitch of the at-bat from him in this at-bat. Just below the knees on the inside corner, and it's a 1-0 count to start this at-bat. Next pitch from him. That one catches his own. Sinker finds the inside corner at the knees, and it's a 1-1 one one count. Pitch number three of the at-bat. Late swing on a four-seamer and fouled it off. 1-2 and two the count as that's going to land in foul ground. The fourth pitch of the at-bat from Max Freed. Oh, got me swinging on a 12-6 curve. It was in the zone, but I was way too far out in front of that bad boy. And, uh, yeah, that's a K next to my name for my postseason career. We come back top of the sixth. Still a 4-3 ball game. Runner on first, two away, and I'm standing in one for two on the day after a 300 batting average in the 43 games at the major league level. First pitch of this at-bat for Max Freed. There's a chopper to second. Not going to get the job done there. No, sir. Throw to first in plenty of time, and we're heading to the middle of the eighth, trailing the Braves by a score of 4-3. to three. And oh, wow, top of... I thought we just hit the middle of the eighth. And we're top of the eighth now, whatever. A runner on first, two away, 4-3 ball game. Raziel Iglesias on the mound for Atlanta. He does hit 90 with a circle change. 97 on the four-seamer, 97 on the sinker, only 87 on the slider. The first pitch there is a circle change on the inner third. Got a piece, fouled it away, and that makes for an 0-1 count. Decent swing timing, bad contact, though. Late swing on a four-seamer is going to make for another foul ball, and it's an 0-2 count in a hurry here. The two-strike pitch. Got a piece of the circle change on the outside corner, and it's fouled off to keep the count at 0-2. The next two-strike pitch from Iglesias. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. 
And the two to three putout will complete the strikeout. That is my second strikeout of the postseason, though. Intriguing. Braves take the win here in game number two. Final score four to three as there's a bunch of zeros put up from the fourth inning on. How about that? All right, we'll head back to the clubhouse here and see if we can uh, get to game number three, see who wins the series and moves on to the divisional round of the playoffs. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Let's move on. Next game, third and final one here with the Braves in this wild card round. And they've got me batting seventh in the order again, still hitting 250 in the postseason. So not great, but not horrific either. All right, we come into this one. It is top of the second. Runners on the corners, one out. I'm standing in 250, the batting average in the postseason. Chris Sale on the mound for Atlanta. He hits 96 on the four-seamer. And uh, sinker at 96 as well. First pitch. Ripped into deep right field. Worst case scenario, that is going to be a sacrifice fly, and that is what it's going to be. Runner at third tags up and is going to score easily for a 1-0 lead here in game number three. We'll take a postseason RBI. That works out just fine for me. <clears throat> we come back, top of the fourth. Runners on first and second. One out. It's a 2-1 ball game. Atlanta in the lead. Chris Sales still towing the rubber out there for him. First pitch of this at-bat from him. Ooh, out in front of a slider. Wow, that was slow. 76 miles an hour. I'm sorry, 78 miles an hour. Second pitch of the at-bat now. And I'm swinging at a four-seamer way above the zone on the outer third. And it's an 0-2 count in a hurry as that was a really bad pitch to swing at. The 0-2 pitch now from Sale. Hot shot to the first baseman. Call that one a 3-6-3 double play, and that's all she wrote for the top of the fourth here in game number three. Come on, let's move on, shall we? All right, we come back top of the seventh. Four to one the score, Atlanta in the lead. Runner on second, nobody out as I'm standing in for the third time today. 0 for one so far with a sack fly. First pitch, there that we go. Finds a hole into right field, and we have runners on the corners now with nobody out in the top of the seventh. We'll take that. A little base hit is a little base hit, right? We don't need the replay, but we'll come back bottom of the seventh. Four to two the score, Atlanta in the lead. Ryan Nelson is now on the mound for the Diamondbacks out of the bullpen. And Luis Guillorme is at the plate. 0 for 3 day for him. And uh, he's looking to break out in a big way here. Nobody out, nobody on. Bottom of the seventh, 2 2 count for Guillorme. And that 0 for 3 line score has got to be grating on him a little bit here. The pitch from Nelson. Little dribbler to me at third. We'll pick it up, throw across the diamond in plenty of time. And that is the first out in the bottom of the seventh. Apparently, the Cracker Jack didn't do him any good. We come back top of the ninth, still a 4-2 ball game. Nobody on, one away, and I'm standing in one for two on the day. A.J. Minter is on the mound for Atlanta, trying to close things out. He hits 98 with the four-seamer. 94, is that on the cutter? I can't really see. And the circle change only hits 89. First pitch. It's a swing and a miss at a four-seamer at the top of the zone, and that makes for an 0-1 count to start this at-bat. Diamondbacks are really going to, we're really hoping for a base hit here. Oh, that's not going to be a cutter way inside, popped up. Second baseman comes in to make the play on the infield grass. And that is the second out here in the top of the ninth. We are down to our final out, trailing by two. And the Braves take the win. Yep, that's all she wrote for the postseason here in 2024. At least for the ball, Ginger. So, yeah, one for three day at the plate, not horrific. Not great, but not horrible. So, yeah, we'll take that. And that's going to be all she wrote for this series and all she wrote for the 2024 season. We are going to move on in the next episode to the 2025 season. So, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. I've said that about 20 times. For those of you still hanging out with me, though, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.